All right, boys. Moment of fucking truth, dude. I, I, I've been staring at this box waiting to stream, right? I've been staring at it. This is going to be totally make my aim way better, right? I'm totally not going to be still dog shit. How do we do this delicately? I'll unveil it to, to stream for it. I mean, it's just right out of the box. You're going to see it. Maybe not. I love the box so much. Uh, uh, yes, sir, dude. Oh, my God, dude. Fuck, that looks sexy. It doesn't fit my setup at all, but it looks sexy. All right, picking up the super light, right? Before, right before I pick up the final loss. Holy fuck. It feels more solid than, than the super light. Way more solid, but lighter. That's really weird to feel. Oh my God, that's so weird to feel. And yeah, so I'm glad I went with the medium. That is, a, it is a tad bit smaller. Just a, just a tad bit. But wow, this... Oh, dude, my grip. Holy fuck, dude. Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's Jar. Welcome back to ANT. If you're new around here and don't know what ANT stands for, it stands for aim training and talking. Essentially, go on tangents a lot of my life, and I'm trying to get better at gaming because my aim's dog shit. We try to stick to one main topic, but we do branch off a bit like i said tangents so in this one we unbox the final mouse i tell you guys how i feel about the final mouse my first impressions yada 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 we talk a little bit about controller players mindset not a shocker and some new year's resolutions as always i hope you guys enjoy and keep grinding i'm not gonna cap chat i think that was the longest time i've ever gone without playing video games in my life like since i was six right obviously i wasn't an epic gamer in the womb i think since i was six that that has been the longest time i have gone without gaming i would i, I would at least play i mean i technically did play like maybe like 30 45 minutes at a friend's house Ooh, i like their new chart you like it you like it i'm just used to people roasting me uh, Jake, I don't know if I can take compliments on my precision, but I think this break will help my I'm not even capping right this this break is going to help my aim and like, you know, I, I'm going into streaming now boys with like a different mindset of being uh, just a lot more nonchalant not caring a, like every second to be super competitive. Like we might play some more chill games. I just in turn, I, I played a lot better. I'm not, I'm not even kidding. Like I played better when I didn't care like every second to like sweat. I would just internal or like subconsciously just play better yeah the only thing already i'm feeling but grip wise holding this mouse like I, I enjoy actually the the size of it and gripping it more but the like the material it's like i'm sweating a bit on it damn just barely hitting the edges i want to try my valve sense switch it right now i actually like this speed a lot feels a lot more muddy but for precision i i definitely feel like i just need a bigger mouse pad too I love my artisan, but uh, I had not ordered it in the extra large because of how damn expensive these things are. Um, because I feel like even if you're off on controller just a bit, you know, you still have like that aim assist, aim assist, uh, you know, support here and there. You know, it's not gonna just completely carry you, but if you're feeling a little bit off, you'll ab you're able to have that slow down and then recenter. I became very nonchalant, being uh just a lot more nonchalant. But this is what y'all wanted, right? To me not give a fuck? Well, congratulations. Now, I really don't give a fuck. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, getting used to the holes though, boys. Oh my gosh. Like, I'm just... Oh boy, that, that's going to get clipped out of context. But the holes on the mouse, man, like, I just I feel my hand, like... Oh, yeah, the little micro adjustments, boys? It's feeling good. It, I really... This shit is feeling crispy. It just... It, it glides so well. Because I was thinking about buying hyperglides for this. And, man, this is... uh Feels so nice. Yeah, I wrote a manifesto. Not not on some, like, Hitler shit. Like, what I want to do. Basically, everything I'm doing right now, but just better and, like, more consistent. Those were my resolutions, um, pretty much. And like tracking too, which already, uh, and I, I was going to start it going in to back, back to Arizona. I didn't start my like grind, grind. This thing feels really good tracking, like really, really good. But I want to start tracking my macros, um, just to make sure I'm eating, like actually eating enough. Cause I know I'm not like, I know I'm not hitting my protein goal. I'm still making gains, but I just knew, know it would be at such a better rate. Focusing more on YouTube now instead of Twitch, because that promotes growth. And I enjoy the creative process with YouTube. I'm learning to love it. Not caring on stream as much. And just a lot of little things that add up. Gonna start reading, trying to get a better vocabulary for being on stream. A lot of new things. It's gonna be a lot, but 
I really got to stay on my shit, like, pretty much 24-7 for what I want to achieve in college, you know? And I'm going to be working, too, possibly, while I'm in school. But that's so far, I guess that is a good amount of resolutions. Getting better on camera. A lot of, lot of little things. Slick to ass tracking that one. It's exciting, though. It really is. Being more organized. Cleaning my room more. I think you're really a big product uh, of your room your mental clarity you know this year I'm, I'm gonna really dedicate like completely to me i feel like these past few years i've i've tried to but i really haven't uh com done complete dedication and i'm hitting the gym early now too nice nice that's lit jump man i feel like a lot of people and that's lit that you're shit i feel like a lot of people will like can be really successful in life but if you don't have the actual you know personal health that's where you see a lot of celebrity press and stuff um you know, it can limit your success. Even. I feel like ripped tape on the sides of this mouse, though, would be like really beneficial because they have the honeycomb even on, you know, the side. Ripping it just feels a bit weird. I remember Boardsy saying that. Maybe we'll do one more. But yeah, like I feel like you can be really successful and then just not you know, have any of that self care. And you just don't you know, care. Maybe because your success is just like what you care about so much. I don't know. Like, what's the point at the top, though, if you're not happy, you know? And top is so, uh, it's such a, I feel like a subjective term, you know? I'm a little bit behind on this sense. We we haven't we haven't played in a while so we got to give some some uh i guess leisure leisure towards myself it has been a minute since i played it is so light dude absurd yeah it, it, it's crazy how light and just sturdy it feels like i i really feel like if i press on the sides which i'm not going to the shit would just not like putting a good amount of pressure the shit will just not move it feels so sturdy which is just weird i, I was not expecting it to feel this uh sturdy because it is a metal it's like what it, they said magnesium alloy crazy mouse cam's probably gonna be a little bit fucky wucky for this video but that's all right just more of a hand cam you can't even see the mouse dude this feel this feels pretty crisp bro it really does can't deny just a little bit behind yeah we're not even gonna challenge all right boys um yeah let's play bl2 <laughs>